Okay, so the tiny race series. How fun. Four races um, that you do sort of back to back with five to seven minutes of rest in between. So this is the first race and I'll do the other races in separate videos. A quick cheeky sneak and then we're in the pen ready to go. Um, the start is always so, so hard. I used to hate it and be so annoyed that people did that and now I've just accepted it and I'll just always do a warm up before any race um, ready to push some major watts. So here I'm doing above 300 sort of, I think this goes for about two minutes. Obviously we're in the neutral, um, so it doesn't really say and I could check but I can't be bothered. But I'm doing between three to 400 watts, which means I'm really sitting at between my five minute and one minute max power. So that's a lot for to start of a race. Obviously you're gonna be fatigued. There's a big climb in this one, which is why everybody gets a feather power up. Each race has a different power up and this one was the feather, which obviously you want to use on the climb. You do actually have to concentrate quite a bit not to drop out of a pack on Zwift. So that's me concentrating really hard. At this point, people started using their feathers and obviously it's tempting when everyone starts firing off to join in. But I was like, no, save it for when the climb gets hard, like harder, I should say, or near the top if you need to get back in contact to crest and not be dropped on the descent. Um, so this was the second wave. I jumped in on this one because yes, it was hard and I was at the back. So I was like, mm, this could be my um, only chance to stay in touch. So this is near the top of the climb. Now the finish is really soon after the top. There's no descent, which I didn't realize. So I probably haven't even realized at this stage that there's no, that this is the finish. Like everyone's going so hard because it's the finish. I thought everyone was just going hard because they're just way better. It's actually because it's the finish. So I was like, oh my gosh. And I'm pushing pretty hard. And then about this time, I look up and realize that the banner's right there. This is actually the finish line. And I was like, oh shit. So then I start just trying to lift, not really sprinting because I'm already cooked, but lifting and trying to pass as many people as possible before this banner. So how many do I get? One, two, hopefully three, three. Oh my gosh, can we get four? No. Anyway, it was really intense. It was probably the hardest race of all four. Now, as soon as I finished the race, I was straight into the pen because the sooner you join, the better place you get um, for going off at the start for the next one. And here's my result. So 23rd out of, I think there's 43 in the race. Some might have dropped. Anyway, so about mid-pack. And there's my numbers to achieve that result. So it's 4.9 watts per kilo for five minutes, 6.3, which is most of the race, 6.3 watts per kilo were both my one minute and my 30 second power, which is interesting. And then because I didn't really have a sprint left in me, as you saw, I had a 6.8 watts per kilo, 15 second. So that was race one in the Tiny Race series. Stay tuned for race two and then three and four. If I haven't uploaded them already, subscribe to my channel to keep an eye out for them. Otherwise, um, they might already be uploaded. I don't know when you're watching this, so just check the channel and you should find them there. Anything you want to see more of or less of, leave it in the comments. But yeah, thanks for watching.